Hello. So there's really three different types of stem cells I've heard of people using for CIDP. And those are the HSCT, the stem cell transplant, that's the most common one, and also the most effective. There's stem cell therapy, which is more of a regenerative in, in using either your own stem cells or stem cells from umbilical cord. And then there's embryonic stem cells. So I'll run through these real quick. So HSCT uh, is done in Chicago and Denver in the United States, maybe more at this point, but that's all I know of to my knowledge. And from what I understand, it's really hard to get into Chicago at this point that Dr. Burt has retired, but he did complete a 10 year study, which means that as of about a year or two ago, some insurance will pay for you to get the HSCT, which is awesome because it used to cost about $100,000 but the waiting list, the wait list is super, super long. And I don't, Chicago at this time isn't accepting new patients that I know of. Colorado still is, so I would try there first, but I mean the wait, again, the wait list is so long, so if you're even considering it, just go ahead and start applying. Like you can always cancel it or change it, but if you think you might need it or you might wanna check it out, just start doing it. Um, <clears throat> And then I think like with Medicare, they'll cover 80%, but if you have a supplemental plan, they'll cover the other 20%. So that's awesome. The success rate that I've heard is 97% success getting people off of all medication. But I don't know. And everyone I've talked to that's done HSCT has said that they love it and that they're so glad they did it. Even the ones that are not uh, completely in remission still need medication or the ones that it didn't work for. I've heard from everybody. But uh, Anyways, I, I chose not to do it because I didn't want to go through all the chemo and all of that. It's pretty intense in the first year is um, your immune system's growing back. So it's a little bit of a recovery time. So I did stem cell therapy down in Panama at Cell Medicine, C-E-L-L medicine.com. That's Dr. Riordan's clinic and he's from Texas. That's where you can get 100, 120 million cells systemically through an IV. That massive type of a dose is not legal in the United States yet. However, I know in Texas anyways, you can get one cc of umbilical cord MSC stem cells through an IV systemically, uh, but that's about 5 million cells. I did get that done as well twice here in Texas at a place called IV Bars. I is in Ivan, V is in Victor uh, Bars. They're reputable. The doctor's awesome. She's actually one of the most um, I think well-versed doctors I've ever talked to about autoimmune. So you can get that done here if you don't want to travel. I think the cost is about $4,000. Oh, and then also to add to HSCT, if you don't want to wait, there shouldn't be as long of a wait if you want to go to Russia or Mexico and the cost is about $50,000 to go there. If I had progressive MS, I would go do that for sure. But since I didn't, um, and I have CIDP, um, you know, the plasma exchange and some of these other things I've done have been working, then I opted to just go the stem cell therapy route. And the cost for that is $23,000 down, and down in Panama. You can also get um, MSC cells uh, from your own body, MSC and one other type of cell. And that's, they do that in the Bahamas, I know is a good place there. And that it costs about $22,000, but that's where they do liposuction out of your stomach. And then they put it in this thing with this weird enzyme that makes it all go down to where it's just your stem cells and then they put your stem cells back into your body and they do that all in one day, which is kind of cool. And whether that's safer or the MSC umbilical cord safer, I mean, I've heard both, maybe they don't even know, but I ultimately went to Panama because they had the longest history of doing it um, and a little more success stories. I heard of more people that had gone down there and had some success. They say that about 75% of people are gonna see some kind of benefit by going there. Okay, uh, the third type of stem cells that I've heard of people doing for CIDP specifically is embryonic. I knew of somebody that took their daughter there uh, to Mexico. There's a clinic in Mexico that does them. They're illegal in the United States. And the thought there is that embryonic have a higher success rate. You know, you see that in some of the spinal cord injury patients that the embryonic uh, cells have worked better at actually going in growing new nerves, you know, more so than, you know, like an MSC stem cell from umbilical cord. Uh, the person I know that went there, I wouldn't say that they saw any more benefit out of doing that for than I did going to Panama. So I think that there's just not enough success stories with the embryonic right now, but that doesn't mean that they're not going to be great. 
the place in Panama will argue to the death that embryonic are, you know, inferior to the umbilical cord ones. Um, I mean, who knows? There's just not enough people that have done both of them to really get a good gauge on which one's the best option. Uh, HSCT, you know, has the most uh, research done for it and the most success stories. They are doing a study right now for multiple sclerosis in New York that is working with MSC umbilical cord stem cells. So I could see that potentially being um, approved by insurance maybe 10 years from now as a treatment just like IVIG or something as like a monthly or quarterly treatment for CIDP, but that's gonna be way, way later down the line. Which one would I recommend? I, it just depends on what you're going through. If, I, if nothing else had helped me, if plasma exchange, IVIG, steroids, if everything failed me, then I would have done HSCT. But since it, it was helping, I just wanted to do something regenerative that I didn't have to do all of the chemo. That was a personal preference. But again, the stem cell therapy doesn't have the success rate that HSCT does of putting people into remission, but also doesn't have the side effects or the high cost if you're going overseas to get it done. Embryonic, I, I just would want to hear more success stories before I went and tried to do that. But supposedly that one has a better success rate of actually growing new nerves, like I said. So those are the stem cell options that I've heard of people doing for CIDP. And anyways, if you end up doing one, let me know. I would really, really like to know if it's helping other people. Thanks. Bye-bye.